Sometimes magic happens when you're typing and you love it. Other times, you don't. And that magic is called autocorrect. Let me show you how it works and how you can adjust it if it doesn't do what you would like. Going into a Word document, I just want a brand new sheet of paper. I don't want anything on it. So I'll click on blank document. And I want the font to be nice and big so it's easy to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and make my font size 36. Now, a couple of things automatically happen. For instance, I'm going to type a sentence and not capitalize the first word of the sentence. If I just keep going, Microsoft says, oh, hey, you forgot. You made a mistake. So I'll go ahead and say that's true. So this is Friday. Now I'm not capitalizing Friday on purpose. As soon as I leave the word Friday by placing a period at the end of the sentence, then what happens is it automatically capitalized the F on Friday. If I bring my mouse over onto the word, you can see, barely see, there's a little uh, blue, it's a really light blue line underneath the F. Bring your mouse down on top of it and you get this little smart icon that says, hey, you've got some autocorrect options. If you click, you have choices. Undo the automatic capitalization, stop autocorrecting the names of days, or go into the autocorrect options. Well, for now, I don't want to do any of those, but if you really don't want Friday capitalized, just undo the automatic calculation. Uh, capitalization. Now, if I go on to the next line or any place that this happens, when a correction happens and you don't want it, there's another option. Here's a correction. If you do a left parentheses, a C, and watch what happens. All I have to do is type the right parentheses and it says, oh, you want the copyright symbol. No, I don't. So you know what you could do, rest your mouse, but that takes a little bit of time. All you have to do is undo. So I'm using the control Z as in zebra keystroke on the computer. However you like to do undo, that'll automatically take that feature off. There are many, 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 I would say hundreds of these in the computer. So try one, misspell. And I misspelled misspell and it was thought it was the beginning of a sentence and so it corrected it for me. So as you're working, automatically things are going to correct using the autocorrect feature. So as you know, either rest your mouse on top of the word, click on that little blue line to go into the autocorrect options, or undo. Now notice this one has two because it said, hey, you changed two things. Two things were changed here and you can choose which one you'd like. Or let's go in and look at the autocorrect options. You can click on autocorrect options and it takes you in to autocorrect and it shows you what's automatically going to be adjusted. Two initial caps, I, I don't have to read these to you, you can read, but all of those things will automatically be corrected including these hundreds that are listed down here of the commonly misspelled words. So folks, a lot of things as you type are going to automatically correct for you. So what you definitely want to do is know how to fix it so that if it auto corrects and you don't want it to, you just make it stop. And this would be a make it stop all the time feature. Let me go ahead and click on cancel because I want to show you another way to get into the auto correct just in case you don't like that little blue line trick. You go into file, which will take you to the backstage all the way down to options and once you get into options you want to choose proofing and when you get into proofing here we go change how word corrects and formats text as you type click the button for autocorrect options and make sure you're on the autocorrect tab that's a different way to get in but it it will get you where you want to be so now you know control z or undo click on the little blue line or just accept the correction when autocorrect does its magic for you